We're back in the shop today and we're working on the 63 Corvette. We've got our rebuilt control arms that came in, so we're gonna get these put on today. We've had a ton of questions about this car. So today, we're gonna answer those questions. We're gonna let you know what we've done to this car and what we haven't done to this car. So in the last video, we had our control arms already out of here and we pulled this whole knuckle apart. The control arms were a little worse than we thought they'd be when we got them out, so we went ahead and ordered the new ones, so we're going to get those changed out today. Let's get a jack under it. Pop that ball jack loose. take the brake hose off and we'll just let it all down and take that whole thing. Looks like we're bleeding brakes again. That'll happen. shim stack back in there. Let's get the front one. That's got our front one back on and when we're done and we have this side complete we're gonna go ahead and torque everything down at the same time. Just keep adding more shiny parts to this thing. So we've got the old control arms off, new ones are going on, top one's already done, let's get the bottom one on. We're gonna go ahead and get the knuckle put back on the lower control arm. Then we'll get our spring set in there, compress this all, and get everybody torqued down. Uh, you wanna get that thing on the pump? came with all new hardware, which included new cotter pins and new grease certs. So we're gonna go ahead and get those installed next. So we've got new sway bar links we're gonna put in too, but all we have to do on this side now is get our brake line reconnected and get some grease in these joints. It's almost like I have a stool. Sitting right there. It's quite a stack. 
that it is. We're gonna leave those loose until we get the next side done. It's time for a shocking update. The shocks are ready to go back in. Shock time. All right, let's get this tire blasted back on here and we're gonna start the next side up. All right, we're gonna work on the other side, but we're gonna time lapse that for you. Every time we work on this car, it's just a little bit lighter. So here's a quick rundown of everything that we've done to this car so far in a nutshell. I'm sure I'm going to skim over some stuff, but the motor has been out. We have the fuel injection unit rebuilt and we also rebuilt the distributor at the same time. It's got a new water pump. It's got a new alternator. It's got a new fan clutch. Most of the motor is all original and as is. We took it apart, took the heads off just to make sure everything was still good with the gaskets, put new gaskets in there. We've got new valve seals, but the motor itself is pretty much all original. So let's talk about the brakes. It's got a new master cylinder. The booster's obviously not period correct for this car. It's for a later C2, but you can't get the original one. So this one bolts in and we have power brakes again. But other than that, the entire brake system has been rebuilt. So for the driveline on this, the transmission's been rebuilt. We've got a new clutch in there and we also have a brand new shifter in there. So we've rebuilt the cooling system on this. We've got a brand new aluminum radiator that we've painted in here. That way in the desert heat, everything stays nice and cool. New hoses, new water pump, new heater core. But as far as the car itself goes, it's pretty much as is. We've buffed it a little bit. We didn't go crazy on it because the paint will start to come off. It is a barn find in that aspect that there's a lot of blemishes and stuff on it, but it's only a barn find once. So let's clear some things up. This is a 1963, but it's a convertible and it's a two top car. So it has the factory hard top and it has the soft top. So there is no split window. That was a coupe only. So as far as the interior goes, the only thing we've really done is clean it. We've put new seat belts in it and we dropped some floor mats in here, but everything else is original. So now that the front's all wrapped up, we're gonna get started on the rear suspension and we're gonna get the headlights working again. Cause these motors are all seized up. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Legs don't go over the steering wheel. <laughs>